Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the channel. Today we have a Z-Force 950 Sport. This is the Gen 2 model. We have it laid over, balanced on its side, and we are about to take, let's brighten this up a little bit. We got the stock OEM skid plate, and we're about to remove it because we're about to put on the Team MSC skid plates, the Team MSC by Trail Armor skid plates on the Gen 2 Z-Force 950 Sport. So just wanted you to see the stock one first and then let you see the coverage of the Team MSC skid plate. But we're simply going through, removing all these bolts. There's a million of them. And you can see it's, it's, it's rigid, but it's, it is thin very thin plastic this is like, you know your typical feels thinner than the, yeah than the regular but you know that that is typical for an oem skid plate even polaris and can am honda all that stuff all right so before we cover this up with the new msc skid plate just wanted to take this opportunity to show you kind of what the underside looks like with no skid plate So you, so you got the fuel tank there, your drive line, coolant lines. That's just up under the seat, foot wells. Gives you a good idea of what the chassis looks like as well, the frame. Really beefy through here. Really solid unit, bottom of the engine. Your rear differential, which is protected very well just by the frame here. That's pretty nice. The front is like that as well. That's pretty cool. You see how the front and rear diff is uh, protected with that metal part of the chassis there? It's not like that on some of the other models. But the old engine there, she's uh, completely exposed. Wow. They don't do that. Yeah. But anyways, we've got the Team MSC skid plate that we're about to install. And we're going to line it all up. Of course, you're going to get, you know, all the hardware that you need. You're going to get the instructions that you can follow on step by step. But we'll give you just a good little brief overview as we install this one on this machine. So one thing I recommend to do, make sure you read through the Team MSC instructions, get familiar with the steps, and just follow along. But we're going to start with this panel right here. It's just a small panel that's going to cover the back side of the fuel tank. Factory bolts on these two. Okay, factory bolts, the OEM bolts go with the bowl washers. Just line them holes up, get them started. If you notice everything has a slight slot to it, so that way you have some wiggle room to get everything lined up just right. And it's all recessed where you won't have anything to catch and grab. Now Joel has a self tapper. And that's the only self tapping screw on this plate. And that goes right there. So now that's protecting behind this part of the frame, protecting the fuel tank there. Now, on the next step, if you notice on the, on the OEM skid plate, it was arched in in the middle. That's because that's just the way that the chassis is formed. But what we're going to do is insert this piece here. That's going to allow it to be flat all the way across the bottom or the belly of the Z-Force. You're going to take one of these bolts here, insert that in. We'll do that on this one down here. Joel's just checking alignment here. 
making sure all that's going to work. Okay. Now you want to go ahead and get those tight because we're going to cover that up and then these holes are going to be used right here and here and that's what will suck the rest of this up and give you a good strong connection point. Before we install the center piece here, the center panel, we're actually going to install this front panel and you're going to use 11 of the OEM bolts with 11 bowl washers and just go through, line everything up. I'm gonna put the camera down and help Joel hold this in place. And that way we can get it all perfectly centered. And then you're gonna leave the back three holes loose or open rather because, and what I'm talking about is right where Joel's hand is because that's where we're gonna line up right here. All right, now that we've got all these in, we haven't tightened them down all the way yet. That's going to allow us a little bit of wiggle room to line up the center belly pan. Joel's just going to kind of get these four started and leave them loose so we can move it around and line everything up just right. Now one thing I want to point out is on the center, center section here, you'll be using the included bolts that come in the kit unlike right here where you use the OEM bolts. I need to explain something on these bars right here, which in the directions, sorry, I got it dirty, but in the directions, it is clearly uh, easy to follow, but right here, that's why you're not supposed to tighten this bolt up back here along the backside, nor are you supposed to tighten up these yet because you're gonna be sliding these bars in and you'll notice that there is an there is an F for front, D for driver's side, and R for rear. So this is going to go down here on the driver's side. And then this one here has a P in the middle for passenger. All right, we've already installed these. You put the U-nuts in right there and there. Okay, that's what you'll do right there and right there. And we'll show you that step down here on the driver's side. But before Joel put this other side piece on, I wanted to show you what that looked like there. So that bar is going to go in there. That's why you leave these loose there and there. So that way these notches right there, get to focus, will slide down into that bolt. And then this hole here and right there will line up in the OEM bolt holes. Right there and there. All right, so I missed Joel doing that, but he did remove the OEM bolts that were in place. And if you need to know exactly which ones those are, it is labeled here in the instructions, but you can just dry fit this side panel, see what needs to come out, and then you'll be able to install or go back with the OEM hardware on this outside. And then right there is uh, included bolt in the hardware kit. So now we've got all the bolts in place, tightened up. And of course we have left this back side loose because we still have to do the driver's side down here. And uh, I'm going to get down here, hold it, help Joel hold it in place. But you just repeat the same process as you did on the passenger side. We're going to put the back piece in. Again, we're leaving these loose here in the middle where they meet up. Don't want to tighten anything down yet. Just make sure everything gets in and the washers can go in flush into the recessed area. It allows you some wiggle room. You just go in with the 11 uh, OEM bolts with the washers. And we'll be good to go, man. And that is it for the full skid plate. And you can see now why you had to start with this small plate that protected the back part of the fuel tank because it's tucked in underneath that side panel. But man, that looks awesome. Team MSC by Trail Armor. Super nice, heavy duty, super thick. Man, 
ultimate protection. But now we've got A-arm guards, front and rear, and we're going to install those and show you about those as well. But as far as the full skid plate, that's it. We'll set it down and show you what the final product looks like. Because obviously, hopefully, you're not ever looking at the bottom side of this once you get through with this project, right? <laughs> Alright, on to the arm guards. Alright, we're already starting on the passenger side front A arm guard. What a beast of a guard there. Wow. So it's super easy on the front. You've got three three holes here and it's already drilled from the factory they knew we were going to do this so you just simply take the hardware that is included these bolts here and you just line it up start them by hand first and then once you get it all lined up you can hold it in place and tighten them down very nice very nice. Now we're on the rear, and it's the same story with the rear as the front. They got the OEM holes already there, and we're gonna use those for our rear A-arm guards. Super heavy duty, a lot of protection here to keep any sticks and rocks from just jabbing up into your axle boot or just anything in that area. So it's very nice. Now we're going to repeat the process on the driver's side. And ladies and gentlemen, that is a done project. Got the full Team MSC skid plates on the Gen 2 950 Sport. And the front and rear A-arm guards. Hey Harmon, yeah, throw that thing over for me, bud. Appreciate it, man. All right, well guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you want the full skid plates and the A-arm guards, go to teammsc.com. I got a link down in the description of this video. Make sure you like this video, comment, subscribe if you're not a subscriber. We got a bunch of awesome videos coming your way. So God bless y'all. As always, remember to keep it real. We'll see you in the next one.